welcome to the video on ICH guidelines for safety. So ICH as we know it is International Council for Harmonization. It is for the harmonization of technological technical requirements for pharmaceuticals for the human use and international council for harmonization has developed various guidelines and these all guidelines are developed to ensure the safety quality and efficacy of the pharmaceuticals ICH guidelines are designed for quality safety and efficacy of the pharmaceuticals also some multidisciplinary guidelines are there for the quality safety and efficacy the ics safety guidelines are designed to evaluate the potential risk of drug products to humans and in this video we are going to see what are the safety guidelines so safety guidelines address the various safety concerns and safety requirements in the drug development such as carcinogenicity genotoxicity reproductive toxicity and more so each of these ICS safety guidelines provide the specific guidance on how to assess the safety risk for the pharmaceuticals and how to minimize the harm to the patient during the drug development process. So this is the brief overview of the ICS safety guidelines. Now we will see what are those safety guidelines. So S1 guideline is there for carcinogenicity studies. So three guidelines are there under S1, S1A, S1B and S1C. So S1A is guideline on the need for carcinogenicity studies of pharmaceuticals. S1B is testing for carcinogenicity of pharmaceuticals and S1C is dose selection for carcinogenicity studies so mainly you can remember like s1 is for safety studies which are involving the carcinogenicity studies then s2 guideline is for genotoxicity testing so s2 is guidance on genotoxicity testing and data interpretation for pharmaceuticals which are intended for the human use. Now S3 is the toxicokinetics. S3A is toxicokinetics, the assessment of systemic exposure in toxicity studies. S3B is pharmacokinetics, guidance on repeat dose tissue distribution studies. Then S4 is toxicity testing. Duration of chronic toxicity testing in the animals, rodent and non-rodent toxicity testing. So you might have heard this uh, toxicity testing terminology for impurities. So this is the base guideline for duration of chronic toxicity testing in the animals. The animals will be rodent and non rodent. Then S5 is for reproductive toxicity. S5 are three guidelines detection of toxicity to reproduction of medicinal products. S6 guideline is there for biotechnology derived pharmaceuticals. Preclinical safety evaluation of biotechnology derived pharmaceuticals yes seven guideline pharmacology studies yes seven a and yes seven b are the two guidelines yes seven a is safety pharmacology studies for human pharmaceuticals 
yes seven b is non clinical evaluation of the potential for delayed ventricular repolarization that is qt interval prolongation yes eight is immunotoxicity studies yes eight immunotoxicity studies for human pharmaceuticals then s9 it it is non clinical evaluation of anti cancer pharmaceuticals yes 10 is photo safety evaluation so s10 means the photo safety evaluation of pharmaceuticals yes 11 non clinical safety testing in pediatric drug development so you can remember like yes 11 is for safety of pediatric population yes 12 is non clinical biodistribution consideration for gene therapy products yes 13 is non clinical safety studies for oligonucleotide based therapeutics so these are the safety guidelines by the ICH and these are the guidelines which are made to address the safety concerns in the drug development such as carcinogenicity genotoxicity reproductive toxicity and the others these safety guidelines are developed by the ICH ICH to minimize the safety risk and also to minimize the harm to the patients during the drug development so this is the short video for ics safety guidelines i hope you might have got some understanding and introduction about this topic in the next upcoming videos i will try to make separate video on these safety guidelines by the ics thank you for watching the video and thank you for visiting pharma learning in depth channel